Hello, hello, hello. I'm Biker Gang, your main man, the real Bill Real. I told y'all I was going to be making more videos. Folks, I got a little quick video I want to put together for you to talk about um, what most people did not realize that was going on. Um, when Jada Pinkett Smith came out and started whining about not getting a nomination or her husband not getting a nomination for his performance in Concussion, okay, which is a movie, I believe, I believe they, they did the whole entire thing themselves because you know that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett, them, they got their own, you know, film crew and all that stuff. They got a production company and all that, so. What most people fail to realize during this time is that the reason why the movie Concussion did not receive a nomination or an award or whatever is due to the simple fact that the NFL is a billion dollar bully. All you had to do was just take a look at the movie, Concussion. If you took a look at the movie, you would see how difficult they made life for Dr. Bennett Amalu, who is the, um, God dog it, I want to call him a doctor, but he has a special name, I forget what his name is, it might be a pathologist, something like, anyway. But he's the guy that does these autopsies on people after they die. And what happened is he ended up coming up with the name of a brain disorder that former NFL players have called CTE. And CTE is known to cause the people to, you know, lose their memory have mood swings, become suicidal. And he noted these things in several NFL players who had taken their own lives, had become suicidal, had just really went off the deep end, okay? The NFL basically forced Dr. Ben Amalu out of his practice which was, I believe, was, was in Houston. And they forced him out to California in some little obscure little neighborhood out in California. Uh, during this time, you know, his wife was pregnant. You know, basically, she was under a lot of stress. She ended up miscarrying, you know. They were attempting to bring him up on all types of bogus charges, you know, because the NFL has people, you know, in, in the Justice Department and whatnot. I mean, they're, they're, they're all connected. You know, it's all fraternal. Okay, so just by looking at the movie, you could tell that the NFL was not going to be a fan of seeing the biggest actor in Hollywood, who happens to be Will Smith, to be promoting a movie during the time that, let me see, during this time, this was right around the playoffs, this was right around the time that, yeah, the playoffs was going on. So I don't see the this billion-dollar bully wanting to have a movie like Concussion to come out to cause people to take a second look at football, which is, you know, this is their, their, uh, their culminating time, you know, where they're building up towards their big dance, you know, where they're about to get their big payday. Everybody's about to pay attention to them. They're basically about to get a, a freaking holiday because that's what the Super Bowl is. Let's just be real, all right? I mean, you got, you know, basketball and the finals, whatever, and Major League Baseball, you know, they play and, you know, whatever, you know, soccer championships. But none of these games or championship games, if you will, can even rival the Super Bowl. I mean, the Super Bowl is huge. It's just the biggest game in the world. The real reason why concussion 
did not get the type of notoriety that it was supposed to get or that it should have received because I did think that it was an excellent job of acting from Will Smith. I thought the supporting cast did a very good job. The story, uh, whoever wrote it, they did a really good job with it. They were able to put everything together. Um, the NFL blocked that. The NFL put a kibosh on that. And Jada Pinkett Smith was, you know, hot about that. You know, she was a little pissy. And she did what, you know, black people have been doing for the longest time. You know, racism, 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 racism. You know, I mean, I think people are getting sick of it. You know, black people are always talking about somebody's picking on me, somebody's picking on me. You know, it's like black people love being the victim. But what happened is the NFL uh, made sure that it never got any type of uh, press like it, it should have. Uh, come on. I mean, they're, they, um, they were sued by several uh, former players. You know, they settled with them. You know, they gave them peanuts, actually, you know. But uh, they were sued by several players, you know, about the Riddell helmets. And <clears throat> I don't think the uh, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, really wants to um, make a definitive statement about the liability of the NFL, how long they have known about CTE and the dangers of playing football, period. The dangers of, you know, you know, any types of head-on-head collisions with the helmet on, you know. Um, so that is the reason why Jada Pinkett Smith came out and started boycotting, okay? That's the real reason why. And the, the NFL is the real entity that was against that movie. Other than that, that movie would have been up for an award and it would have actually won an award. Okay, because Will Smith is actually liked in Hollywood. Okay, he's he's in the inner circle. Okay, he you know does the rituals and whatnot. And, you know you, you see his boy. You know he's acting out all over the place. He's basically you know acting out because of what he's been subjected to for so long. All of this you know all of these rituals and different things that they are subjected to. Okay, but the other thing that I wanted to talk about is the uh, the thing that most people didn't realize is that there were there were there were, there were really two two movies that you know black people had their panties in a wad over okay in a bunch of them and it was concussion actually it was three it was concussion it was beast of no nation I'm sorry Idris Elba's uh, acting in that was not good okay he's a very fine actor but the whole the character i just i just didn't feel it you know i just the movie sucked okay and then you had their darling which is boys in the hood okay for some reason black people seem to think that this movie is a good thing that we need to bring this dark part of history back up and re-energize the whole um, using of the N-word, let's glamorize the gangster life, you know, with the lyrics, let's, you know, glamorize misogyny, and let's glamorize self-hate, and, you know, let's get more familiar with these characters, you know, because these were such good, upstanding people, you know, that, you know, black folks went so far that they even created their own award show. The all deaf show, the award show, and this was done basically to give an award to this movie, to award a, a, this movie for doing what? You know, I mean, I, I I think to myself, what exactly did the movie accomplish? What was the purpose of it? Did it really uplift what we call black people? Did it show them how to get out of the hood or whatever? I mean, did, did it really, you know, listen to the lyrics of all of the 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 music from MWA during this time. What were they talking about? They were talking about self-destruction of black people. 
they were talking about the disrespect and the dishonor of black women in the songs. And if you watch the movie, I mean, the movie doesn't leave, in my opinion, any good taste in my mouth. It doesn't make me say, oh, well, that's, that's exactly what we need as a people. Yeah, we need to see this. So, you know, that's what's going on behind the scenes, guys is that black people will do anything possible to elevate something that's self-destructive. Black people will fight for their right to use the N-word. They will fight for their right to freaking um, to denigrate themselves, to uh, disparage the women, you know, just disrespect them. Anything possible, any negative images, you know, they're going to fight for that. So, I... I'm at a point where I'm, I'm looking at the statistics in, you know, like in the last 50 years, you know, blacks are only like 12% of the population and blacks have received 13% of the votes of, of the, uh, the awards in the Oscars over the, I think the last 50 years. So I don't understand how much more fair it could be. And I, don't, I don't know how you can be 12% population, but you want to win, you know, half of the awards when there are other actors that are good, <laughs> okay, regardless of their skin color or whatnot, there are other a actors, there were other movies that were good. And I don't see how, you know, you feel like you just need to have a special privilege to, you know, to leapfrog other works, you know. And there are some people, I mean, I know I've already told you why concussion was never getting off the ground. But there are some people who can look at, you know, boys in the hood and see that that's not the type of image that we really need to be celebrating that's not something that deserves an award that's something that was made to stop the progress the little progress that has been made by certain black people in certain nooks and crannies okay because as a whole you know black people are you know still listening to uh, rap music which is very destructive you know, R&B, which is, does nothing but promote fornication, which creates more single mothers, okay? Um, so, this is what's going on, people. So, you know, I just want to run that by you, you know, uh, let you know what's really happening. Uh, as I said, I'm going to drop more videos uh, as soon as I get an inclination that I need to let you guys in on something that's really happening uh, the news behind the news I will do so uh, but for right now I'm signing off peace